going to be answering some questions, a special question and answer video. We have some questions that have been left on the Lazy Reds Facebook page. So I, who you already know, Chris from Lazy Reds, and Kristen, who makes the music for Lazy Reds, will try to answer your question. We'll both give an answer and hopefully between the two of us we will come up with something that vaguely resembles a useful, helpful yeah. response. First question is from Caleb Heffelfinger. Which dread was technically your first dread? Which was your first dread, Kristen? Well, I have some dreads. This is an old dread. This was my first dive And they're older than the other dreads? Yeah. And how much older are they? Two months older. So these are ten months or eight. And these are a year. No, four months older. So these are eight, <laughs> eight months old. And these are a year. This one and some others. Uh, and the older ones are less loopy and less bumpy, they're noticeably yeah. different. This is looking good, this hair is not so good. They'll get there. Yeah. Oh, and I have to answer too. Nice. I, have, I have no idea which is my first dread because they were all started at the same time. Pick up a random one. This one, this is definitely <laughs> the oldest one. They were started at the same time seven years ago, longer than that. And I have very little recollection, I think, maybe one round here. but. Honestly, I have no idea. So, for today, you can be the first dread. You have oh, holy first! You have that honor. <laughs> Adam der Metzgermeister Yahayawi asks, What made you want to start with YouTube videos? So, since you don't make YouTube videos, I'll probably answer this. And ask. I don't make YouTube videos. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> He just makes music for my videos, which we can come back to. But yeah. I wanted to make YouTube videos because I've had dreadlocks a lot longer than I've been making videos. And while I had dreadlocks before, I would answer people's questions if they would find me online. I didn't sort of put myself out there as someone to answer questions, but having dreadlocks and people seeing you have dreadlocks online, people will ask you questions about them. And there's a lot of information out there that I personally don't believe is all that good. If you just search dreadlocks, a lot of the things that come up are sort of things that are pushed forward and promoted by people who have some money to make out of it. So when I was giving people this help and advice, a lot of people would come back and say, this website says this and this website says that, and then I'd have to say, but they're trying to sell you something or they have something to gain from that. Whereas at the end of the day, it's your hair and things that are really the most important. So, you know, I was kind of getting bored of answering the same question over and over again, because I would get the same question from different people. So I figured it was easier to just blog it and then I can share what I've picked up from some of the mistakes I've made and then more people will be able to find it rather than just answering one question at a time. And also it's fun to do. That's probably, that's probably what I should say. It's fun to do. It's, it's fun yeah, to you make. You have that whole long thing there and then you come Yeah, and then you just scratch that and say it's, it's fun to do. I can, I can turn around and make it a question useful for you. What made you want to start making music for my videos? I saw your videos and I was like, this soul needs music. <laughs> that's a true story actually. Because yeah, well, it was so awkwardly quiet sometimes, so I was like, Okay, Anna, or your girlfriend, my sister, yeah. Anna. Yeah. To Chris, I can make music for him. Kristen, as well as making music for me, is my girlfriend's sister, so it's not just some random person <laughs> that I found and forced to <laughs> so make you music. Found me on the street. Yeah, so we have known each other before yeah. dreadlocks. But you're just trying to fill my awkward silences yeah. with some. <laughs> I'm trying to fill your awkward silence. Samantha Frock asks, What methods did you use to start your locks and do you maintain them? And if so, how often? What method, bracket S, what methods did you? <laughs> I use twist and rip. That's the one method. That's the one method. And what maintenance do you do? And if so, how often do you do it? I don't really do any maintenance. I will obviously wash my hair and uh, deep cleanse sometimes, but nothing else. I started my dreadlocks with the backcomb method and then I haven't done anything else to them since other than let them grow and wash them and deep clean them and then I've cut bits off when it's gotten long or I wanted to cast them out because they <laughs> banished them but banished. not a whole lot else. Sean Spatey asks question for both of us, what music are you mostly into? What music are you mostly into, Kristen? Um, into a lot of music actually, but I guess what I listen the most to is classical and some game soundtracks, maybe, yeah. Some game soundtracks and some classical, and if you were pushed to say specific examples of your favorite things, what would they be? What I listen the most to new now from game soundtracks would probably be the soundtrack for Skyrim. And uh, I'm doing a master thesis on the music for Dark Souls, so the music for Dark Souls. And other than that, uh, Donkey Kong Country is an obvious favorite from the game music. And uh, I really enjoy the music for Silent Hill and like uh, Dead Space, I like the music. 
classical music, I have a lot of favorites there. <laughs> They're all favorite classicals, but I don't know, uh, Gerd Zweit, I like him a lot, and that's a Norwegian composer. Uh, Claude Monet, maybe, or and Audible Park, 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 how do I say that in English? I, I have no idea who it is, so I cannot help Arvo you with Park, Audible Park. See, Kristen is defying the stereotypes there sometimes when you're going around with dreadlocks, people make assumptions about many things, but also what music you listen to with dreadlocks. I know I've had people come up to me and various things and say, hey, do you like reggae or hey, do you like certain metal and things? And Kristen would be like, uh, is it classical? <laughs> well, I do like metal too, and rock and just anything. Anything. Just, as long as it's good, I'm happy. I don't care about genre. <laughs> As uh, someone who's doing a music master, you have to sort of be exposed to many yeah. things. And, yeah. and now it's to me. And now I probably regret pushing for more definite answers because it's not so easy to cut things down. I like rock music from different years, so 60s rock music, 70s rock music, 80s rock music, 90s rock music, noughties rock music, and whatever rock music you would call this current decade, I like things like that. And Postmodern rock. Modern. And modern, yes. I don't, does this decade have a name? I have no idea, but music there with guitars and things and so heavier music than that, so metal music and lighter music than that, so blues music. Uh, I like Beatles and I like ACDC and Led Zeppelin and some metal music. I like In Flames, I've liked In Flames for a long time when I was a teenager. In Flames was good music for me to escape to and I liked listening to In Flames and Flames made me feel happy and one of the inspirations for getting dreadlocks would definitely be listening to In Flames. And I don't listen to metal music so much anymore. People often ask Know what metal music you're into now, and I don't listen to anything that has come out <laughs> semi recently. I like the metal music that came out when I was a teenager, and yeah. now I'm like, I'll just listen to that. Other than guitar metal music, I like not game soundtracks. Well, I like game soundtracks, but I like movie soundtracks. I like yeah. examples of movie soundtracks, Gladiator, and the score from the movie Kick Ass, and Sunshine, and other stereotypical ones like uh, Jurassic Park. All the stereotypes. All the stereotypes. All the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings and uh, <laughs> all the stereotypical movie soundtrack things. But yeah, music, yeah. things that are listening to on the headphones and yes. day to day life. Chuck Alpert wants to know what is your experience with negativity in public from people who just can't understand, and I'm assuming that means people who can't understand dreadlocks, just not people who can't understand. Can't them. understand anything. Well, I've had some comments that I used to look nicer before dreadlocks, and other than, other than that, people are regularly not not saying that much. I think that's my response. <laughs> so some people said you look better before, but yeah. other than that, not a great deal. No. I honestly don't get a whole lot of public negativity. I think it really depends on where you live. I think different areas are going to have people that are either going to be more vocal or less vocal, but really in my experience, people who I don't know, random public interactions, very rarely going to come up and say something mean. Well, you get those random security checks though. Yes, apart from when you're randomly picked out for security checks. It's not really negative, it's just kind of annoying. Uh, I get more positive things than anything. I think if people have something negative to say, then they're not going to go up and tell you about it. It's kind of random and... <laughs> Like, going out of your way to be mean to someone you've never met, it just doesn't really happen. But I've had people come and say nice things. Yeah. When I was younger, I did. When you were in high school, when I was in high school, when children are obviously going to be meaner, and thankfully people don't all act like children. People keep things to themselves most of the time. But I will say I've had negative things that have not been public, and that's online things. And I think because online people are sort of anonymous and they can yeah. say what they want without having to have the person turn around and look at them. People say strange things, but in public, real life, very little other than children staring and mm -hmm. odd, dirty looks from people. <laughs> but I can't guarantee that I wouldn't get those without dreadlocks anyway. Maybe yeah. it's just something. Maybe it's just you. Yeah, I just kind of deal yeah, with it. And, yeah, for you. an aura. Those are all the questions for this time in this special Q&A. Hopefully between the two of us we answered something that vaguely made a helpful response in some ways, maybe. Maybe, we can hope. If you did like it, if you did enjoy it, you can click the thumbs up and then we'll know you liked it and know that this was not something that we should never repeat. Never do. <laughs> Pretend never happened. <laughs>
Let's just forget all about that. If you'd like to check out Kristen's music, because she does make all the music for the Lazy Dreads videos, then I'd like to thank you for that. Oh. Yeah. Thank You're you very welcome. much. You're yes. Welcome. You can find all her stuff at soundcloud.com slash fruluna. And you should put Yeah, I'll write that. So, yeah. And link it in the description, I will go the whole way. If you'd like to see more videos from me and possibly Kristen in the future, you can subscribe and then you will know when new things have been uploaded. If you are looking for dreadlocks information guides, tips, help and advice, you can find all my stuff including this video on LazyDreads.com. I'd like to thank you for watching, I hope to see you again soon. Kristen, maybe hope to see you, see you again soon? Yeah, sure, I hope to see you again. Soon! 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 Thank you for watching, farewell! Bye! Bye! Pause. What is this decade? <sighs> now, I thought I was going to be talking while you were there like... <laughs> I'm just going to clean up a little bit. <laughs> it sounds like, <laughs> kind of like Super Mario. Super Mario. And... What was the face for? I have a brain freeze. I regret everything that I've just done. <laughs>